Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living. And today, I want to do a video about my chicken coop again. <laughs> and it's like, I didn't think I'd uh, be surprised by some of the comments, but I'm going to stand by what we're doing. <laughs> And the question is, why am I using hay? And uh, uh, and I use a high quality hay. And it's like, well, first of all, you don't go through that much with only 10 chickens. That's the first thing. But uh, let's talk about a couple of things. I do not free range my chickens. Would I? I'd love to. However, we have a lot of predators here. And I'd love to see those chickens out and scratching uh, uh, my gardens and all that but here I've got coyotes I've got all kinds of critters here including hawks and barn owls that I uh, would love to take out my chickens and so uh, we decided to do an enclosure now in the future I might do a little tractor to go through some of the gardens on uh, some of my lawn and maybe see if we can improve it but until then this is our technique why did I choose hay? Well, because chickens like to eat stuff all day long. And, and there's a lot of other kinds of foods and, and things like that. Or chickens uh, are just little, little raptors, man. They're just, <laughs> they'll eat everything. And it's also about making good compost. So I chose, and Sherry and I have checked into this, to use hay as their... Uh, for the run and for their house and uh, of course my chickens are young so we're uh, we're not putting anything in the nesting boxes right now but I'm still not opposed to putting hay in their nesting boxes because uh, we got a really bright sun today uh, because when they're laying in there I want them to be able to have things to eat there's little seeds in there it's grass, just like being out in a farm. Um, the, the only thing is, I want to make sure I get quality hay. Uh, I've looked into uh, all the different discussions about chips and wood chips and the pellets. Um, and uh, I think uh, hay is the best choice for us. I'm not saying one's worse than the other. Uh, I get the layering just fine with hay for uh, having good winter beds. Uh, my chickens are happy. They're always scratching. There's always something for them to do. Uh, some of the other things I do to protect our chickens from predators is when we built this, you didn't see that part, but there's actually a foot of chicken wire under the ground all around this pen to keep any critters from being able to dig under our chicken coop um, and it, I guess the last thing is when I clean out my chicken house I get high quality grass mixed with manure into my compost bins and that's really a nice full cycle of, of taking advantage of our chicken droppings and of course we'll go into the new garden that we're going to start in the spring. So uh, uh, I guess really, um, and then I hear some people put chemicals on the floor of their chicken coop. And it's like, well I don't really want to use chemicals. Um, I'm not opposed to it, um, but I'm trying to go as organic as possible with my chickens. Uh, their chicken feed uh, right now they're on their last 50 pound bag of the smaller um, chicken feed um, that's medicated and the only reason I did that is my chickens came from out of state I want to make sure they're healthy I've been feeding them a, a, or, um, a medicated uh, <laughs> let me get some in my hand here a fine chicken feed that's medicated and also the chick grit I've been using medicated 
Now the next thing I like to do is starting to blend it with regular chicken feed, um, like a 50-50 mix, because I don't want my chickens totally sustained on um, medicated food. Where do I get all this? I get this information from all, obviously YouTube, but I was also a game bird farmer. I actually used to raise pheasants and chucker. And so I do try to make as um, uh, things as natural as possible, especially when I had wild birds. But uh, uh, and also understand what our limitations are. Um, Sherry and I think it's great to be able to do a chicken run, things like that. But that's not practical for her and I. So we knew that we wanted a pen that was going to be. Uh, stationary. So I line my my coop with hay and we have this real fine dirt so I don't have to also I don't deal with a lot of moisture. Um, we do get plenty of rain here in the winter time and I don't have to deal with um, rocks and dirt so much um, and uh, there's not a whole lot of critters and things like that for them to eat. So bringing in hay to me is a, just another nutritional thing for our chickens to eat along with uh, uh, chicken scraps and uh, chickens food scraps and things like that that we think are good uh, good enough for them to eat or chew on and uh, uh, I don't use medicated water here because uh, which I used to use for my game birds um, because we have our own well and we have very very high quality water here and uh, so if I was worried about that I may put an additive into the water but I don't see the purpose of it because we have super good quality water so uh, anyway so that I'm hoping this video will kind of address why we chose hay I even when I was questioned about it on the video I went in and did more research and, and and watch lots of other homesteads of what they're doing with their chickens and uh, all of them are just saying chickens with hay are just happy happy campers uh, I do recognize that you want a high quality hay organic if, if possible uh, there's also like alfalfa out there but I hear that's a little rich uh, but that's talking more about beef and horses so anyway, I just thought I'd address that, why we're doing it. Uh, if we come around here real quick, let's take a look in the house. Let's see what they're doing with their hay. <laughs> I'm all scampering to go outside. Let's see who we can surprise in here. Oh, most of them. They're right there. So uh, I do see the layering happening. Um, I actually put my hay in pretty thick because I'm... I want them to, to play in the hay. I want them to scratch in the hay. I want them to mix the hay with their manure. And by the time they're done, <laughs> I'm getting a brave chicken. Look at you. Are we brave today? How about that? Um, so everything I'm seeing is pretty normal. Um, I'm seeing a lot of air pockets, a little bit of a uh, nice layer. I'm not seeing compression. Um, I do understand that compression can be helpful for help keeping them warm. But um, if I want that so much, I will just put a lower amount of hay in and let them create that um, that layering. The other thing is I'm noticing is uh, when they scratch at it and stuff, it doesn't tend to go off to the sides and get wasted. Um, it gets it's constantly you saw the whole floor was covered with hay if I had chips in there they'd be kicking it around and actually be a lot of times right on the floorboards or right on the ground because they're kicking all those uh, chips to the side and hay will break down faster than the wood chips and stuff which in turn for my compost bins will give me some really good compost next year 
That's our reasoning. Am I an expert? No. It's only my observations. Um, and I do appreciate um, good quality comments like I got about why, why am I using hay. And uh, um, yeah, it probably would be cheaper to use straw. Maybe I'll, if I see an issue, use straw just in the nesting areas. But right now I'm very happy with the performance of just using hay and my chickens are busy. My chickens have something though other than just eating out of their normal feed uh, container they're busy chickens and uh, um, as time goes on as they get bigger I'm introducing more different kinds of foods like lettuce maybe uh, a watermelon or, or some other things um, I'm not sure about meat yet I'm not convinced um, I'm not opposed to it either uh, for them to uh, have something to eat as far as being carnivores I worry about that this is my own personal feeling is I don't want them to be interested in, in meats and stuff like that or even eggshells because I don't want them to, um, to get in the habit of eating their own eggs I don't think that's a factor I'm not saying it is it's only a personal feeling um, but we'll see uh, it's all about laying eggs laying clean eggs that's why I created these really deep boxes and I want to make sure I can clean my boxes um, very well so my, the bottoms of my um, nesting boxes drop down and we can clean this as well as we can clean the main house and I'm very pleased about that but it'll be interesting to see in the future how well this particular design does so I, I hope this was a informational video to you I urge you to go look at the other homestead channels and get their opinions some people love chips and uh, some might even talk about peat moss some just say straw some say hay but most of the time when I hear hay it's because there's uh, nutritional value to it also and for breakdown for composting it's wonderful so that's my opinion I'm sticking to it unless I hear something better so anyway guys thank you very much for uh, your comments and uh, your observations and uh, yes we're always trying to do something a little better and uh, are we perfect at this no I guess the other thing I want to tell all people is everybody has different limitations uh, do you have time to uh, have a chicken tractor do you have the right kind of field to do a chicken tractor do you have a even grass fields as you can see we do not uh, this is high desert uh, I mean yeah we have normal grass I have thought about putting a chicken tractor in um, temporarily when I because I have areas that I love to have the chickens work and see if I could improve this lawn but uh, I don't have the right kind of land I don't have pasture I don't have grass so uh, you know like I said the circumstances are different for everyone and so uh, that's something to think about and uh, what are you willing to do and how much time do you have to do it a lot of people that have homesteads and stuff are working people and so they have regular nine to five jobs and don't necessarily have the time to do these extra things so when you're building your chicken coop keep that in mind um, and that's what we did and uh, and also realize what's your goals I want to keep my chickens safe I want them to be uh, entertained I want them busy I want them to be chickens yet I have to keep them in their in a coop and that's how we designed our chicken coop um, other folks have got some other wonderful designs and chicken tractors and they're awesome and I commend them and I wish I could do the same but uh, uh, not this year maybe towards the end of the season next year after the gardens done I'll uh, fence it off and allow the chickens to uh, uh, work the ground a little bit before we cover it for the winter 
So anyway guys, I hope this was helpful to you in the video now. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Hit that like button. That's really important. But also, um, we're trying to make our uh, channel grow. Please share it. And uh, please uh, leave us your comments and say hello. We'd love to meet you. And uh, we always ask that everybody's professional with their comments. And we will obviously do the same. So have a great day, guys. Be safe. Till next time. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.